feel like alone or different from everybody else or do you just feel like anyone else? I you know, living a normal life with a disability that gives you severe physical and vocal tics can be difficult to say the least. Living the life of a streamer, that would be even harder. But one of Twitch's stars called Sweet Anita is never gonna let that keep her down. Um, most of my tics aren't actually obscene or sexual. Most of them are kitten. Kitten, kitten, kitten. I'm a kitten. Kitten, 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 hey. What's going on, Pro Guys family? I'm your motivation guy. And in today's video, we're gonna be covering the inspiring, heartwarming story of Sweet Anita. She's a fantastic streamer who has over a million subscribers on YouTube, over a million followers on Twitch, and won't let her disability keep her down. I have been getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of criticism lately for having a channel whilst having Tourette's Syndrome. And the thing that sucks about that is that I'm not intentionally trying to offend anyone. If anything, I'm trying to be an example. I'm trying to show other people that have Tourette's that you can find love acceptance on the internet. Before we get into the real meat and potatoes of Sweet Anita's story, we should kind of explain what Tourette's actually is. You know, a lot of people will see someone with Tourette's and just laugh at their extreme verbal and just physical tics. Sometimes going as far as to think the person suffering is doing it on purpose. So I'm gonna replace that couch <laughs> um, with something actually worth sitting on. What? Like your uh, face. Oh, then, okay. Um... Nice. In truth, Tourette's is a disorder that forces the sufferer to undergo repetitive bodily movements and make them create unwanted sound which can often manifest in yelling swear words or you know, other offensive terms. Currently, there are no cures for Tourette's syndrome, but there are treatments available that can help lessen the symptoms. This all usually starts between the ages of two and 15, with most people developing symptoms at around six years old. For sweet Anita, Tourette's has always been a part of her life. She can't remember a time without it, so it's likely that it started happening when she was very young or you know, even when she was born. The earliest tick that she can remember was a woof whistle, but she's not exactly sure when that started happening. Anita didn't have the most usual of childhoods, and that's just not because of her Tourette's. She grew up in East Anglia, an area of the UK which is, as you can probably predict, in the east of the country. When she was young, she spent a year living in a hippie community in the countryside, with some of them living in tree houses and others in handmade tents on the ground. She spent most of her time back then looking after her mom, who had fallen sick with a chronic illness after exposure to a volcano. While growing up, her Tourette symptoms were quite severe. She would say ridiculous things to strangers on the street, like the word elephants, the, the number 51, or the phrase, I touched a kitten. She would also randomly pinch the backs of people's arms while riding on public transport and have no control over it. By the time she reached 13 years old, Anita decided that enough was enough and she needed to figure out why her body and her voice was acting out without her control. She went to her primary care doctor alone and presented herself for observation. She was likely looking for answers, but she didn't get any. I don't know if it was my age or the fact that I went to get the diagnosis alone by myself instead of having like a parent bring me in or whatever. And I said, no, no, no. And he was like, oh, you're young. You're probably just attention seeking. I, I was really scared to be around people because I was like, this thing is going to happen and people are going to think I'm attention seeking and I'm going to get like loads of <laughs> which I did. That's exactly what, <laughs> that's exactly what people thought. After that, Anita started to seclude herself from the world. She found it hard to get through school. She couldn't hold down a job and instead spent most of her time looking after small animals like rodents and rabbits to rehabilitate them after injury or abuse. Unfortunately, with her subpar education, lack of work, and all the bills from all those animals, Anita fell into debt. A debt that she couldn't work off by selling colored glass that she found down by the coast. She didn't get a proper diagnosis until she was around 23 years old, 10 years after she went to her first doctor. After I pushed really hard for a diagnosis, like I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not attention seeking. Like this is happening, please test me. And they finally did. Um, after that point, like, my life just completely switched around. Like, I had this magic word that said, this is why this is happening, I have Tourette's. And after that, everything fell in place. It was a long time coming, but Anita finally felt validated. She finally had something to say to people if she did something that wouldn't usually be acceptable in public. She didn't have to hide anymore. 
To a lot of people, this story is fantastical. And most of the details we're using right now comes from a Kodaku article. Though it had been expanded on numerous times in many of Sweet Anita's streams and AMA sessions. There are two things we know for sure. She definitely has Tourette's. And that fact nearly stopped her from starting a Twitch career. To a point one day where I was like, I'm so tired of being ashamed of myself because of my condition. I'm so tired of being afraid of people. So I sat back and I imagined what I wanted my life to be and I wanted friends. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to see things that are new. I wanted to get outside the house. I wanted to have a job. I wanted to have financial security. And I wanted to be a reason why people smiled. Anita wasn't always a Twitch or YouTube star. In fact, once upon a time, the idea of making content on Twitch was petrifying. That changed in early 2018 when she ended up appearing on someone else's Twitch channel completely by accident. Anita had started to love gaming. It was an escape for her, a, a place that she could turn, push to talk on, and edit what other people were allowed to hear. She didn't have to be beholden to her tics and a conversation anymore. Overwatch was one of her favorite games, and while playing, she ended up in a match with a Twitch streamer called Jake Wolf. Jake and his viewers fell in love with Anita's voice and comedy almost instantly. She was just goofing around and doing impressions in voice chat like she usually would. But Jake's viewers straight up thought that she was a pro voice actor or a streamer in her own right. But at that point, she had no internet presence at all. Even before Jake had heard Anita slip into one of her tics, he suggested that she should just start streaming. At the time, Anita actually had no idea what Twitch even was and her Tourette's was a major concern. How could she ever stream if she was constantly swearing and saying offensive things? Surely she would get banned off the platform instantly. Jake assured her that Twitch would understand, and they did, after asking for a doctor's letter proving that she actually had a disability. I have an N-word tick every now and again. Don't worry if I have it, you won't get banned. I, I don't get banned for it because it's involuntary. A few weeks after her encounter with Jake Wolf, she met another Overwatch player, a guy called Brandon. After hearing her voice, he thought that she could have been the voice actor for Tracer. Tracer, status report. Target in sight, Captain. Though obviously that's not the case. Brandon was actually her first mod and actually helped set up her channel for her right at the beginning. Anita took the plunge. She began streaming Overwatch content and it turned out that she would quickly become a force of nature on the site. Within just three months, she had already amassed more than 150,000 followers making her one of the fastest growing channels of 2018. Most of that growth was nothing to do with Twitch though. It was all to do with Reddit. The live stream fails. Subreddit is an absolutely massive repository of funny and cringy moments from live streams. With over 350 subscribers to the subreddit at the time, and her takes frequently amassing thousands of upvotes, landing her at the top of the page after she started, it was no wonder that people started to come to her channel in droves. I mean, who wouldn't want to watch a sweet British girl randomly blow up with a bunch of curse words in the middle of a sentence? It was simply hilarious. I do play other games sometimes. I'm currently working on it with a potato PC, so I um, it's given up on me a few times when I've tried to play other games, but I do play The Forest, I play Bioshock, I play with my on a Tuesday, f you, and Jesus, f you, f lasagna, f lasagna, f lasagna. The comedy of it all isn't lost on Anita either. Earlier this year, while admittedly drunk, Anita revealed on Twitter that she was completely okay with people laughing about her condition. She was a tiny British girl screaming obscenities. It's something that she laughs at too, and so people really didn't need to just keep sending her DMs saying that they were sorry for laughing at the tics while she was streaming. Alongside her Twitch account, which is now at over 1.4 million followers, Sweet Anita has also started up a YouTube channel, which is primarily a place that she uploads her funniest moments. Which of course means posting a whole bunch about her tics and a lot of AMA segments where she answers questions from her fans. That channel alone has also managed to get over a million subscribers, just showing how much demand there is for her content. Act to six, it stacks up. Oh, I had no clue, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt that Anita's Twitch career has completely changed her life for the better. It's helped her come to grips with her own disability in public. It's helped rescue her from debt so that she can continue looking after animals and it's brought her fans from across the world but that doesn't mean it's always good. Morons try to cancel live streamer Sweet Anita because they're too dumb to know what Tourette's syndrome is. A Twitch streamer with Tourette's 
recently said the n-word on stream and the fallout wasn't pretty. For a start, she has Tourette's syndrome and streaming can actually be incredibly stressful and incredibly triggering for the streamer. Due to this, she sets a time cap on each of her streams, never allowing herself to stream for longer than four hours because that would probably just end up triggering her Tourette's just a little too much. She's even had to go as far as banning certain words from donations and the chat, though so that doesn't send her into a spiral of tick triggers. That isn't the worst of it though. Streamers get harassed by overzealous fans all the time, but not all of them have to deal with stalkers like Anita has. In July 2020, Anita posted on Twitter that someone had posted in her stream chat that they were going to wait outside with something special to attack her with. It hadn't been the first time that she had ever been contacted by this person. And in the past, he had sat outside her house all day and followed her to a shop. She asked if he was armed, only for him to just smirk at her and just chase her down. She was only able to escape him due to others intervening. Anita said that she also called the police about the issue, but that they had taken the stance that it was her fault that she was being stalked because she was a content creator and that there was nothing that could be done unless he was at the property. So they advised that she would just lock her doors and windows and just call them again if anything happened. Oh, and uh, yeah, she should quit streaming so the guy didn't have a reason to follow her around anymore. Not exactly what a grooming streamer wants to hear, right? The guy has come back numerous times and the police have never actually done anything to try and stop him. I had a witness, I had a lot of evidence, and the police did nothing. They eventually felt pressured to do something after everyone was kind enough to start atting the police on Twitter and kind of getting upset with the UK police for not acting. There was definitely a lot more done during that time, but it still eventually amounted to nothing changing for me. Stalking is a genuine problem for streamers all over the world and Anita has said many times that she wishes the law in the UK at the very least would change so that not just content creators, but anyone being stalked by potentially dangerous individuals can get the protection that they need. Sure, I mean, there's some pretty dark sides to Anita's story, but for the most part, it's one that we should all be inspired by. She started off with one of the strangest upbringings a child in the UK could ever have. She was turned away by the doctors when she needed help. She was forced into debt because of her condition and was forced to sell glass from the beach to make ends meet. But then, after two chance meetings on Overwatch, she started up her stream and her whole life changed. With millions of followers across three different platforms, Sweet Anita has managed to become a star online. Teaching people about Tourette's syndrome, being funny, and even raising thousands of dollars for charity through Stream Elements in 2019. We did it. We did it. <laughs> have you ever wanted to stream yourself or have you ever been worried because of uncontrollable elements in your life or just plain anxiety? If that's the case, we really hope this video really helped you guys and really inspire you to start streaming or make videos yourself. If Anita's story can tell you anything, it should be that just about anybody can make it if they try hard enough. All right, Pro Guys family, once again, I'm your motivation guy, Keith Allen, and that was the story of Sweet Anita, the girl who doesn't let her Tourette stop her from streaming. If you guys enjoyed this video, all right, I want you to make sure that you drop a like, and if you want to see more documentaries on gamers and the games that we all love to play, then you should definitely subscribe and hit that bell. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Peace.